In this video, we are going to see functional interfaces. What is functional interface and why do we need functional interface? But before we move on to functional interfaces, let's see where do we use interfaces in Java. Consider this example DB backup service. Here we have one abstract method start backup and we have two implementations of this DB backup service, MySQL service implementation and Postgres service implementation. And in MySQL service implementation, we have overridden start backup method, which takes the backup of MySQL database and in Postgres service implementation, implementation we have overridden start backup service which takes the backup of postgres database now consider we have another service and in that service we have perform backup method and this method takes db backup service as an input parameter so basically if you see here the type of input parameter is a interface type db backup service that means if you pass an implementation of mysql service implementation as an instance here then it will take the backup of mysql database and if we create an instance of postgres service implementation and pass it here then it will take the backup of postgres database so if you see here in main method we have created an instance of mysql service implementation and we are passing that instance to perform backup method but this method is also able to take the implementation of postgres service implementation so if we change mysql service implementation to postgres service implementation the perform backup method will still be able to accept the parameter because both are db backup service type right and depending Depending upon the type of instance, the perform backup method will behave. Now, if you see here this DB backup service, right, this is an interface. So basically to hold the actual instance reference, right, this is an actual instance reference. We need interfaces. So here interface hold the reference to this actual in instance, right? So here we need interface and another example is to hold the type of input parameter. So basically these are two important locations where we use interfaces. The first one is to hold the reference to an actual instance and and to hold the type of input parameter similarly if you see here in this example this x arrow x percent to equal to equal to zero this is a lambda and to hold lambda into a variable we need functional interface and similarly if you see streams api for example filter here the streams api filter it also takes lambda but the input parameter type mentioned in filter method is functional interface if you want to check in intellij ide we can check it we we have written lambda here and this lambda where do we store we store this lambda as a functional interface variable right and in the streams API we have this filter method this filter method also takes lambda but if you see the definition of this filter method this filter method takes functional interface which is a predicate if you open this predicate it's a functional interface and this predicate we are going to see predefined functional interface ahead so don't worry about that the only thing that we need to remember is when we want to store a reference to lambda we store it into functional variable functional interface variable and the methods in streams api also take the functional interface as a input parameters okay so back to our slide here these are the two locations where we need to use functional interfaces okay now what is functional interface so there is only one property that is the interface which has exactly one abstract method is a functional interface it can have any number of default methods it can have any number of static methods for example a runnable interface here you see it has only one abstract method so that's why it's a functional interface similarly animal interface that we have mentioned here it has only one abstract method and it has default and static methods as well but as i already said default and static methods we don't care about those methods because it can have any number of default or static methods we only care about abstract method and as this interface has only one abstract method it is a functional interface and you see here at the rate functional interface annotation this annotation is not mandatory even if you don't write this annotation this this is perfectly valid the reason to add this at the rate functional interface annotation is that if you try to add one more abstract method into this interface compiler will say that no you cannot add two abstract methods into an interface which is annotated with functional interface so for our safety that we don't accidentally add an abstract method into an interface right we should always write at the rate functional interface on this interface okay so that is all about inter functional interface and in next video we are going to see predefined functional interfaces so thank you bye bye